So I'm right here in front of an ornamental onion. All of these are alliums, allium species. There's a variety of allium species. There are a few native to North America, mostly in the western part of the United States. Uh, but we use these extensively and they've become quite popular over the last five to ten years for ornamental purposes. Uh, this one is what I would consider a chive type allium, uh, but there are earlier spring blooming alliums that get quite large, ones with big large heads on top of them, uh, the ornamental onion or the allium. Now there are a couple different types of alliums uh, that are used in the landscape. One of them is a very bulbous, uh, upright growing spring blooming one uh, that has a big rounded top head to it. And most of them have very rounded top uh, flower heads to them. Uh, the other one like the one you're looking at here is what I consider a chive type allium, one that's more of like a bunching plant. And they are very similar to each other. Uh, the foliage can be a little bit different, uh, but they're all in this group of ornamental onions or alliums. Uh, they can range in height from one foot all the way up to probably three foot tall, spreading out to two foot wide. Most of them are hardy, just as a generality, from zones four through eight. The flowers tend to be purple in a globe-like shape. Uh, there are also white ones available on the market. Uh, and there's also white species out there, but purple and white are the main colors that you're going to find ornamental onions in. They love well-drained soil. Uh, they love to be in full sun. Uh, and they're a plant that you can count on for high summer bloom or early spring bloom, and they really do attract pollinators. Here's a landscape tip. All onions are alliums. Good drainage is a must.